Organizing can be really overwhelming, especially if you're not sure where to start. I recommend you start in your bedroom. I know this isn't a space that guests see, but this is a space that you see. It's the most important space in your whole house for you because it's the first thing you see when you wake up and the last thing you see when you go to bed. It should be relaxing. It should be an oasis. It definitely should be clean and tidy. I'm going to show you 10 simple organizing solutions so you can get your bedroom organized for good. The first bedroom organizing must have is having double hanging rods in your closet. This is a really easy fix. You can simply hang your current rod a little bit higher and install a second one, but I call having one rod like one bar itis. It's a disease for your closet. But if you rent or you're on a budget, you can get a system like this, which hangs on your current rod to double your storage. I love that this is fast, it's easy to install, and it's really inexpensive. So if you are suffering from one bar itis, you got to get a second bar. The second organizing must have is having hooks somewhere in your room for those clothes that aren't dirty enough to wash, but not clean enough to hang back in your closet. You can put hooks behind your door for things like bathrobes or hoodies or blue jeans that you know you're gonna wear again. So you stop from piling on the chair that everyone has or on the top of your dresser or in a pile on the floor. Just having simple hooks behind your door gives a home to this homeless clothing clutter. Another bedroom organizing must have is a space for your accessories, whether this is your belts, your jewelry, your sunglasses, scarves, all of these little things can add up to a lot of clutter if it doesn't have a designated home. I don't want you just dropping earrings in the top of your dresser drawer or leaving them on your bathroom counter. Having a designated organizing system for your accessories is really important, whether it's a cool full length mirror that opens up to store all of your accessories or something as simple as just a cork board with push pins for all of your necklaces. The point is designating a spot for these things to go means that they're not getting lost and they're not adding up to clutter in your bedroom. The next must have that I recommend is a spot for homeless clutter. Here's the thing, clutter attracts clutter. So if you're coming home and you're emptying your pockets and putting your keys and your wallet just on top of your dresser, your brain is seeing that clutter and it means it's okay to put random clothing up there or scrap pieces of paper or garbage. And the next thing you know, you have a huge pile. But if you're giving your random things a home, like your keys or your change, you're gonna stop yourself from putting other things that don't belong there. This could be as simple as a tray or putting a basket in the top dresser drawer to empty your pockets into. It doesn't have to be fancy, it just has to be an actual home for things that you usually set down on top of surfaces. Speaking of random clutter, cord clutter can actually contribute to a messy bedroom too because mess attracts mess. So if you have a lot of cables on your bedside table to charge your tablet or your phone, or maybe it's the cable for your lamp and your fan, I don't know what you have, but all of these different cords, if they look messy, it's signaling to your brain that this is a messy spot and you're more likely to contribute to the mess. Keeping it tidy means you're more likely to keep it tidy. So organizing your cables with a simple cable organizer or taping them together is really going to help you keep your bedside table a lot neater. I'd like to thank Bull & Branch for sponsoring today's video. I can't talk about a bedroom without talking about the bed. It's so important that your bed feels like luxury, right? I want you to walk in and feel like this is a hotel. And you can do that by layering pillows and having beautiful sheet set. This sheet set from Boyle and Branch is their signature collection and it's 100% organic cotton. I also got the matching duvet cover. It's so soft and every time I wash it, it gets a little bit softer. My favorite thing is adding a pop of color with this gorgeous waffle blanket. This is in Shore and I really wanted it to tie in the artwork over the bed. I just love crawling into this bed at the end of a long day and I want you to not only make your bed every day, but make your bed a priority. Bowl & Branch's spring sale has ended, but they've extended it just for us. You can use the coupon code CLUTTERBUG20 right now to save 20% with no minimum order all the way to the end of the month. Check out the link for more. Another must have in the bedroom is under the bed storage. I think everybody shoved things under the bed and that's not what I mean. I mean actually creating homes and containing them under the bed. I love using rollout bins that slide underneath for things like extra clothing or wrapping paper. Joe doesn't actually have a spot for his shorts. 
I use all the drawers in the dresser. So putting one of these rollout containers under the bed for his shorts is like having a dresser drawer. They're really inexpensive, but it's containing the stuff under the bed so it doesn't become random dusty clutter. The next must have is drawer dividers for inside your dresser. Even if you're not a really meticulous person that folds their underwear, I think it's important to have some subsections in your drawer so you have things divided. And using drawer dividers is doing exactly that. It's allowing you to toss your things in when you're putting away the laundry quick and easy, but it's keeping it separated so it's easy and quick to find. So you have a separate section for all your different undergarments or different types of socks. It's just as easy to put it away, but it saves you time every time you want to find something in your dresser drawer. If you're anything like me and you don't love folding, I think a must have is baskets in your closet or baskets on a shelf in your bedroom so you can toss the things that you don't want to necessarily fold. I love having baskets for bathing suits and camisoles and pajamas and workout clothes. Things that I can just take from the laundry and toss to put away. But the baskets keep it contained, keep it organized, and keep it looking tidy. The next bedroom organizing must have is one of these really cool organizers that slide between the mattress and the box spring. They're really inexpensive, but I love them because all of that little random clutter that ends up on the top of my bedside table that makes it hard to dust now has a home. It's really easy to slip in, especially if you're short on space or you don't have a bedside table or bunk beds for kids, so many spots to use this. And again, so simple, so easy, and it contains the clutter. This last must have is actually maybe controversial. I don't know. Joe thinks it's gross to have trash in the bedroom. I'm a type of person that has snacks in my bed and leaves, you know, garbage on my bedside table. So I think it's important to have an actual garbage can in the bedroom. I'm gonna keep trash in here, I might as well give it a home. If you can relate to this, or you have a spouse that maybe always puts garbage on their bedside table, why not actually have a garbage can in the bedroom? And you can get a garbage can that doesn't look like a garbage can, it just looks like a pretty piece of your decor. I don't know, this garbage can does not look decor, but you know what I'm saying. It's not shouting trash can, but it's doing the job, which is giving a home to all the trash that I leave on my bedside table. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe for more organizing and cleaning videos each and every week. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I want to do a poll with you. It's like the great pillow debate of 2022. So not only do I have six pillows on my bed at any given time, like pillow pillows, then I also pile decorative pillows. Some people think this is silly. Joe thinks this is silly. We actually have a chair in our bedroom that's dedicated to holding the pillows while we're in the bed. So we take them all off to sleep and then we put them all back on. I'm not sure why, just because they look pretty. But this is like, this is polarizing. I know of a ton of people who think that's the dumbest thing they've ever heard of and other people who couldn't imagine their bed without a bunch of pillows. I am a pillow person, but I'm curious what you are. And I'm actually gonna add up all your yes or no, you're a pillow person or you think it's super weird in the comments below so we can settle this once and for all. We could see who the real weirdos are. The mass is majority, that's what we're gonna go by. So let me know in the comments below Below if you pile your bed with a ton of pillows and decorative pillows or if you think that that is completely ridiculous and impractical. Inquiring minds want to know. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys next time.